Hey everyone, I wanted to share a typical day in my life balancing my full-time job as the head of marketing for a tech startup with being a creator on YouTube, Instagram, and also researching sustainable fashion, creating content for sustainability literacy. My friends and family always ask how I manage it all and I'm going to show you in this video. It does look a little bit different right now because we're still in lockdown where I live, so I'm also working remote from home. It's a lot of, you know, stuff at home, but I hope you still enjoy. So the most important thing I need to do first thing every single day is my morning routine. This sets my day up for success and helps me feel good and motivated because I'm taking care of me first. I used to stay in bed as long as possible and then go right into work but thought never felt great for my mental health so really taking the 15-20 minutes of every single morning to focus on me so that i feel like i'm taking care of myself has made such a big difference with my depression getting out of bed is the biggest battle of each day and it's an accomplishment in itself so doing a full morning routine helps me stay out of bed and feel ready to make the most out of my day I find that it's really helpful to make everything, even my morning routine into a to-do list. So simple things like my morning skincare, my morning makeup, my stretching, making tea, even though they seem so small, having a to-do list focused on those things and even including stretching really just helps me feel super accomplished right in the morning. So I think that's really key to my productivity is being able to just check everything off and not being afraid to make them all to do's because they are tasks in themselves and once I make my morning tea and do my whole morning routine I sit down and make my to-do list just made my green tea and the first thing I like to do is organize my to-do list for today there's something about having the list all checked off at the end of the day that feels so good and keeps me motivated the next day so seeing a list completed the day before like that's how i have the motivation to continue to get out of bed and make the most out of my days so i keep my to-do list in identity which is also the sponsor of today's video but i love keeping it here because i can add tiles that link directly to the app or the site that i need to use to complete each task the way that i work once i go into something and have it open i am good like i can focus and be heads down for so long to get it done but the journey to having that open is when i procrastinate so it's really helped me stay more focused today my main tasks for hive are creating some graphics and working on our website our webflow revamp and i'm the most productive in the morning so i like to tackle the kind of heaviest tasks first because that's when i have a lot of clarity and like brain power to really just go heads down and focus and be super productive and the one other thing i like to get out of the way in the morning before i go deep into anything is if i have any urgent emails because i don't like the feeling of having a crazy email inbox just weighing on me like the whole day okay just sorted through my inbox so i can check off my emails for my to-do list best feeling so i've just been going into webflow which is what i use to design our website and i've been building new landing pages and basically moving everything over to a more structured template but i realized that i haven't talked about my day job in a while here so i work for a tech startup called hive and we basically do email and sms marketing for brands i've been here for about three years we're a super small team and i basically head marketing so i wear a ton of different hats and what i love is that I don't know, I'm able to learn a lot. No like two days are the same. Everything marketing, branding, content, positioning, copy, a lot of different things, but I love it because it's all super creative and it all comes together to tell a story. I'm really passionate about how much we care about helping brands actually do email well. This is the current website that I built and I illustrated. I'm feeling quite Lindsay today, so I'm just going to reheat food for lunch versus cooking it. Um, I have some leftover fried tofu, kimchi, and I'm just gonna make some lettuce wraps, which I think is really yummy. Here is my quick little lunch. I'm just having tofu, kimchi, lettuce wraps. This is a super light lunch. Usually this is something that I'll have for dinner instead because I like to have more of my carbs during the day, but I'll explain that in a what I eat in a day video later. <laughs> I'm just lazy today, so I'm gonna eat this.
just finished eating my lunch and now I have my afternoon hive meeting, which is just our weekly marketing spec. So going through everything that we want to do for the week so that we both stay on track. So I'm gonna have this quick and then talk to you after. Hi, how are you? Yeah, so should we go through high pride first? So in that meeting, my team asked me for eyes on a blog post. So I'm gonna go in and quickly edit that and leave notes for any revisions that we might have. I'm also going to add a to-do for that so that I could check it off after. Just finished that and it's now around three. So I'm gonna take a quick break and do my stretch. This is usually when I'll try to break up my day and go for a walk, but it looks so gloomy today <laughs> and I don't wanna get rained on. So I'm just gonna do a quick stretch. I wanted to quickly also talk about the set that I'm wearing today. This is from Vada and I have talked about them in my spring wardrobe essentials. I love what they do. They basically offer capsule wardrobe collections um, and they're super sustainability minded and ethical. I'm obsessed with this. It's basically a ribbed reversible um, v-neck kind of like long sleeve so the side is the v-neck and the other side is a crew and then these are the ribbed shorts and I have struggled for my entire life to find shorts like this that fit me well you know so there is an elastic waistband but just in terms of the flowiness and the length I absolutely love it like these shorts I'm gonna wear out as well I would wear these to run errands and everything. I wore this to sleep last night. I'm trying really hard to film at different angles because <laughs> otherwise I'll be in the same exact position doing work all day. So I just finished doing my little stretch break for my posture uh, and a lot of it's just focused on opening up the chest, rolling the shoulders back and really just releasing all of the tension that I hold here because it's so bad and like my traps are always so tight. I usually take this time in the late afternoon between three to five to film any video or IG content that I want to shoot. In the past, I always filmed on the weekends. I took like the whole day Saturday to film, but recently I've liked breaking up my filming in the week as well. So I don't then spend my entire weekend editing because before I would basically work through the week and then I'll film on Saturdays and then I'll spend Sundays editing and then I didn't really have a day off. So now I like to structure it so that I film either, you know, on the weekdays a little bit and then on Saturdays a little bit. So I have Sunday dedicated to just a day off to rest and reset. As you could tell, today is a super gloomy day. I'm pretty sure it's gonna start raining soon. So I didn't have a video scheduled to film for today. So I'm just gonna take this time to go heads down again into Webflow stuff or Hive since it's a project that I really enjoy doing and I wanna keep having it Moving, I love that Hive is super flexible with my hours so I can take the time that I want during the day when the natural lighting is best or when, you know, I'm in the mood to film, to film. And that's why I can just structure my days around when my meetings are. And I really love that because I hate having robotic days. Like I do not do well in that type of environment. That's why I love, you know, working for a startup because no two days are the same. I wanted to quickly talk about how I'm able to just stay super heads down and focused. Basically a soft skill that I've picked up since university when I had to cram last minute for exams and everything. In the beginning, it was really helpful to do the Pomodoro timer. So 20 minutes on, five minutes break, or 45 minutes on, 15 minute break. Cause that's the way that I motivated myself, almost gamifying it so that, you know, if you're really focused and intentional, then you reward yourself with a break. It's also been proven to help with how much your brain can digest the information. It sounds really easy to me now, which is low-key flex. I just really like to be efficient when I'm spending my time on something. I don't like, you know, fooling around, wasting time procrastinating when I've decided, okay, I wanna finish this in like X, Y, Z time. Some time has passed and it's now the end of the work day. So I'm going to do a workout now. Usually Hannah and I FaceTime at five after work and do a Chloe Ting program. 
but today is technically a rest day so Hannah's out biking I'm probably going to just do a quick hit and full body I just finished my quick booty workout. I've been doing this uh, video from Mad Fit, which I didn't know it was from Hamilton. So repping that Canadian creator uh, love. I like to break up my day with my workout because I always get really great endorphins from it. And then I have like another high that I can use to focus on you know, my side hustle stuff. So usually I spend this time editing any videos that I have, uh, planning out videos, responding to YouTube emails. For today, I'm gonna start editing this video and I want to spend some time brainstorming my Patreon stuff. I really wanna work on, you know, planning it out so that I can figure out how to add value for you guys. I just responded to some YouTube comments and it always makes me feel so warm inside when I do. I absolutely love talking to you in the comment section and I appreciate you and the community here so much. It just makes me so happy to hear when my videos can help, you know, inspire you to learn more about a sustainable fashion system or even just be relatable and real when it comes to mental health or just, you know, living life because this is the content that I personally look for, but I can't find. So it means a lot to me, you know, and I appreciate all of you and your kind words so, so much. I could finally close my laptop. It's the best feeling. Eating some fruit after dinner. I have some pineapple and orange slices, and I love it. My favorite. I just got off of a spontaneous FaceTime with my friends. We call them three ways, which I think is so funny. I always love chatting with them. I'm about to go do my actual night routine now, but I wanted to just quickly come on and I put you guys here. My lips feel so swollen. I don't know if I got my lips sunburned or if this is just for me eating pineapples, but. <laughs> So I realized that I spent all of today just on my laptop in my loft, but this is a very realistic day in my life, especially right now in lockdown and with, you know, working remote, but I hope that you enjoy it anyway. <laughs> I wanted to hop on here and just chat quickly about how it's important not to glorify the hustle and the grind. The difference between overworking to the point of burnout and taking the time to make your dreams come true, if that makes sense. Reframing it more as making time in your day um, and finding the time to, you know, work on making your dreams happen, to take the time to take care of yourself. I think thinking about it that way has really helped me because in the past I would also overwork to the point of burnout because with my high functioning depression and like all of my childhood trauma, which I'll talk about in a different video, I associated my worth and my value to, you know, always achieving things, always working towards accomplishments and successes. And I've learned now to disassociate, you know, happiness and joy and my worth away from productivity and value. This capitalistic structure that we live in literally thrives off of making us want to turn everything into money. And I think there are so many more layers to that, especially growing up as a child of immigrant parents and all of that. But I really think it's important to see it that way. It's not like, you know, if you're busy all the time and you don't get enough sleep and you're always stressed, like that means you're just grinding and like you're hustling, you know? to be successful but I really think it's more important to have like a really healthy balanced life where you are still productive but you still take the time to prioritize things like self-care and things like taking care of you so yeah I just wanted to point that out because that's something that I've learned 
along the way as well. I'm going to go shower and do my nighttime skincare and then I'll have checked off everything on my to-do list today and then I'll be able to wind down, watch some K-dramas. I've been watching Doom at Your Service right now and I'm obsessed already. Like it makes my heart flutter and I squeal so much, but it's just so cute. I'm actually really digging this angle. It feels like I'm at a sleepover right now with all of you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and got a peek into what my life looks like day to day right now in lockdown. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. Please leave a like and a comment down below what you've been up to. Also be sure to check out Identity. It's free to use and it really helps with productivity and just helping me be more intentional with, you know, my time online. <laughs> but with that, I'm gonna go. You can tell that I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> but I love you so much. See you in my next one. Bye everyone. Thank you.